BrainTech here, where tech is made simple. So once again for this week, Microsoft has rolled out another Windows 11 Insider preview build to the Dev Channel Insiders, build 25276, which they made available on the 12th of January. So um, once again, just to take a quick look at some of the new features, changes and improvements, as these could possibly be features that could roll out in the future to up and coming stable versions. Now jumping right into it, as there's quite a lot to go through, um, the first is that you can now create live kernel memory dumps in the task manager. And um, this is in addition to the existing memory dump for user mode processors, which is currently available. And uh, kernel live dumps um, help you to gather data to troubleshoot an abnormal situation, according to Microsoft, but also allow the operating system to continue operation. Now, to capture a live uh, kernel memory dump, it's quite simple to do. And as we can see from the screenshot, uh, you just go to the details page in the task manager, you right click. Um, on the system process and the context menu should light up to show create live kernel memory dump file and then you can capture full live kernel memory dump or kernel stacks memory dump and i think this is a nice move in the right direction uh, especially if you are an it admin administrator if you have to troubleshoot issues uh, in the operating system and let's just head into the next screenshot you can also go to the task manager settings page now to view and edit um, the settings for live kernel memory dumps and which I also think will be a nice addition uh, to the task manager settings located in the bottom left um, of the task manager and then the uh, third new feature available and this is just basically a little update to an existing feature we have taken a look at but just to go through this quickly um, you can now consolidate and see your consolidated storage quota um, shown on the accounts page in the settings app uh, with the banner that will alert you if you're running low on storage and that's for your OneDrive cloud storage so that's just a banner updated version of the banner just to give you an alert if things um, are not too good and you are running out of space regarding your cloud storage and then i'm just going to some general improvements um they've updated the dialogue that shows when an app has a known con compatibility issue to use the new windows 11 design as we can see it's got the fluent design little buttons are all fluent and the dialogue is a work in progress according to Microsoft and you may see issues with it in dark theme so if it does um, if you are running a dark mode and a dark theme and um, it is early days in the dev channel so you can expect a couple of issues as mentioned and then also a quick update to an existing feature um, the search box design in the start menu has been updated says Microsoft with more rounded corners uh, to reflect the design of the search box on the taskbar and that's just an update to an existing feature and then uh, the last um, is um, a feature that um, is mainly for uh, developers uh, in the dev channel and Microsoft say they are replacing the network troubleshooter in the operating system with a modern get help based experience as we can see uh, from the screenshot provided and with new APRs that diagnose problems and other specific recommendations to get online. And they also mention that the app targets the 30 most common connectivity issues. And to use this new experience, Microsoft says you will need GetHelp app version 10.2208.2551.0 or greater. So just take note of that. And that's more or less um, what's new really when it comes to features, changes and improvements. Um, that we can just show you regarding new features uh, in the dev channel build 25276 for this week and uh, if you are interested i'll leave a link to the release notes in the description and um, because um, it will just give you a little bit more detailed look at um, all the different fixes and other improvements uh, there's also a couple of uh, known issues which is common for the dev channel builds as it is still early days so that's it Build 25276 now available for the Dev Channel Insiders. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.